yours. My name is Joanna Figueroa from Fig Tree Quilts and today I wanted to share with you a little bit about my new Christmas collection called Christmas Figs 2. It's a follow-up or sister collection to my first one, Christmas Figs, with the exact same color palette, a few new patterns, and some more goodies. So let me start by sharing this small one here with you. This one is called a Christmas Tree. I'm sure you can figure out why. And it's a charm pack pattern. So the entire quilt, the entire center, the tree and the star, and all of this inner border all can be done out of one charm pack. And then you need to add a little bit of border and some background. Simple piecing, sew and flip, no special anything. Um, it's a really fun, quick pattern to make. Next up, we have this one. Let me scoot that one over. This is a layer cake pattern. The entire quilt, let me see if I can stand on a chair back here, show you a little bit more. There you go. The whole quilt is made out of one layer cake. So if you can see up close a little bit, the houses are all of the reds, the greens are used for the trees. And we do add in a tiny little bit of a taupe because that's not in this collection. It's called Little House in the Woods. And I do believe if I remember correctly, each house, uh, nope, just one layer cake. So basically one layer cake makes a house and then you mix the greens up in the trees. Again, um, sew and flip, super simple, fun method. One of the things I like the most about this is if you look up at the trees, they're, the corners of, or the edges of the trees are softened. They're not straight, which was something I came up with that I really liked. And then of course the traditional schoolhouse block on there is such a great addition to a Christmas quilt. Next up, have my Christmas wreaths pattern. Let me move this one out of the way. I'm gonna try getting up again. So that's the Christmas wreaths pattern. A little bit closer up for you. It's basically a mix of a couple of my favorite reds and a couple of my favorite greens from the collection. Um, you can, of course, use way more and make it scrappy. We decided just to do a few of each, and um, it's a really fun pattern that uses that sew and flip method that I talk about all the time, where you're basically sewing with a square and you're flipping out parts of it in order to get the shape that you want. And a little bit of the hollies inside, if, um, if you can see, so the green wreaths have the red hollies and then the red leaves have the green hollies alternating back and forth. Probably the most popular pattern, the one that many of you may have seen already, that we released as an actual pattern with this collection is the Woodland Wonderland pattern. And it's right here behind me. And I will zoom in on that a little bit later so that you can see more of it. But this basically uses, you can use an entire fat quarter bundle for this. Um, it's more than you need. And it has a little bit of everything. So if I scoot this out of your way, out of my way, and basically kind of go through it. It's all pieced. Um, there's a few tiny little applique um, accents, like the eyes on the center of the owl, and um, that might be it actually. Little tiny few things like the eyes and the feet on the hedgehog. Everything else is simple pieced. It has a fun flower border right here and along the bottom, and it's an asymmetrical project. So. It has flying geese running down one side. Um, I kind of like the way that that played together. I've seen a lot of people finish it where they add that flying geese to the other side as well. Um, but this has just got some real fun blocks in there. One of my favorites, the owl, little hedgehog that's behind that right there. Actually, he's missing his eyeball. Um, the little gnome, and of course the mushrooms, which I'm kind of in love with. So here, a little bit of a close-up. These are the four patterns released with this collection. The O Christmas tree that I showed you. Oops, there you go. And the Christmas wreaths. 
and the little house in the woods and the poinsettias. So those were the ones we released with this group. A couple other great Christmas patterns that we have that we released with the original Christmas figs and with some other red and green combos. Christmas in the Pines, which can be made into a tree skirt or obviously a, just a table topper. Um, Christmas Manor, which is one of my favorite large block quilts. And Christmas Flowers, which showcases the all of the reds in the collection as well. Great combo. Um, we also have, and the stockings were hung, which is a fun pattern that you can actually see. Whoops, that's upside down. That is a table runner. So if you wanted to see some of these up close, the pre-cuts that go with it, we've got jelly rolls and we have honey buns. As I said before, these are the one and a half inch strips. And of course we have layer cakes and charm packs like that, um, the Oh Christmas tree is made entirely with one charm pack. Of course we have mini charms um, and here is an up close of the bundle and all of its goodness. <laughs> And this still in its packaging is the fat eighth bundle, which is basically half the size of a fat quarter. Another thing I wanted to really just point out and show you guys is on this O Christmas tree pattern, I did some Sashiko stitching on there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna bring it up real close to the camera. Large scale stitching, which I love, utility stitching. And the Sashiko machine, does this so that uh, it mimics the biggest stitch, kind of mimics hand, big, chunky, utility hand stitching, not fine hand quilting, but um, big utility stitches. I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But um, this was a perfect project to work on that with the machine. Um, I really, really love the way that it mimics hand quilting. And I almost forgot to show you guys the last pattern. It's called poinsettias. Let me lift it up so you guys can see a little bit more of it. Let me go down. It's nine large blocks. Let me show you what one block looks like right there. Basically, that's the size of the block. So it's a biggie, and it uses some of my favorite reds from the collection along with a couple of the greens and the creams. Again, sew and flip method, and a really fun block to make. Thanks. Something else I just wanted to uh, show you guys and to feature, it's technically not done with the Christmas Figs 2 collection, um, it was actually a block of the month sampler that we did several years ago with a whole combination of different fig tree and other um, reds and greens. And then we created the book with It's So Emma called Christmas Figs last year. And we, by popular demand, um, decided to also kit this up with the current Christmas Figs 2 patterns, as have many stores. Um, so this is, I'm just going to kind of pull that back so you can kind of see the whole sampler. It's a big one. I'm gonna fold it over so I can keep going. That's the rest of it down there. Um, it's got one, two, three, four blocks across, five blocks up. Um, it's organized, the booklet, or the book is organized like a block of the month, so it can be done in a store or a friendship group or on your own. It is one of my all-time favorite quilts. It comes out every Christmas at our house and possibly my favorite block, I don't know, it's hard. Um, this right here is one of my favorites, this one, as is the little house one right here. The one that challenges everybody is this one right here, the feathered star. So we say either do it first so you can get it over with or do it last so that it doesn't make you crazy. <laughs> The blocks try and alternate complicated blocks with um, really simple blocks like spools and bow ties and nine patches right here. So it's a really good mix of um, more complex and simple blocks. And it's just something I wanted to point out. The book is by It's So Emma and it's called Christmas Figs. Speaking of my favorite blocks from Christmas Figs, this is one of the projects in the book. Um, all of the blocks in the book also contain a secondary project. And this was the long skinny pillow in there. 
and I wanted to show you guys this one up close as much as I can because I basically just did a big wide zigzag on my regular machine. Any machine that does a zigzag will work on this as the stitching and it mimics hand stitching again and when you kind of look at it, I don't know if you can tell further away, but it kind of mimics that it's all quilted and scrunchied up like an old hand stitched quilt and I love that look. It's basically nothing but a simple zigzag that I'm hoping you guys can see up close. A little close up of the fabrics themselves. Goes from the creams or ivories down to the reds. It's a little bit more of a cherry red than kind of our standard tomatoy red. And then kind of our signature two tones of green, the lighter and the darker which we love to incorporate into our lines for years. And back to that one right there. Another close up, thought I'd show you is the Woodland Wonderland. Let me see if I can get right in front of it here. Oh, there's almost all of it. And it's set on that beautiful Moda cross weave, black cross weave. Let me see if I can show you guys an up close and personal with that fabric. It's a textured fabric that slightly looks like it's wool. I mean, it is woven and it has a black and a white thread through it. And hence, hence the name cross weave. Let me zoom back out so you can see the whole thing. It's just a really playful Christmas quilt. It could actually be done in any other colors too, but lovely looking.